Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Orange Miss 22 and today I'm with another mod showcase. I don't really do too many mod showcases on my channel. In fact, the last mod showcase I did was a year ago on a wizardry mod, which coincidentally is the exact title of this mod. It's also called wizardry, but it's different mod creator, different uh, attributes that make each mod unique. This mod, I must say, is personally a lot better than the last wizardry mod showcase that i did this mod has a lot more spells and it is so easy to access these spells and it's really easy to get lost in this magical universe so let's get started so first things first what you're gonna want to need is this right here which is called uh magic crystals magic crystals are essential if you want to get started in this mod uh pretty much you can either get them by finding this flower, which is called a crystal flower. Just around the world, you can find it basically anywhere where grass spawns or plants. So pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna break it and then put it in your crafting uh, table or anything. And voila, you get magic crystals. You get two uh, per one flower. So that's a bit of a bargain, I guess, bit of a deal. Or you can find uh, this crystal ore, and I'm actually going to hop into creative before that creeper gets me. Uh, you can find this crystal ore, and you basically mine it with any regular pickaxe, and I believe it can drop up to six crystals per one block. So if I were to break one of these blocks, I could get either one to six crystals, just like you can either get one to, I believe, three diamonds per diamond ore, something like that. Okay, now that the creeper is gone, can I... Okay, yeah, let's break one ore. Oh, hop back in creative. I think I got like two crystals there, but you guys get the point. Now, what do you do with these crystals? Well, you're gonna need a lot of these crystals and I will show you why. So just like in every single mod, there's always gonna be like a guidebook and this guidebook, you, you need uh, a book and a magic crystal. That's the crafting recipe right there. And you get a wizardry handbook now the wizardry handbook kind of shows you the basics of the mod it shows you step by step what to do and basically how to get started and just different detailed information and such about the mod and then next thing that is really important in this mod is well your wand you're not a wizard without a wand so basically to use uh to craft the wand you need a magic crystal a stick and a gold nugget uh, you're probably gonna make lots of wands, so get prepared for that. Next up, uh, what you can use the magic crystals for is stones of transportation. You get two stones of transportation uh, in one crafting recipe. So to craft it, you need four chisel stone bricks and a magic crystal. And there's the crafting recipe like there. I'm not gonna show you exactly what they do just yet. I will show you later in the uh, end of the episode. The effects of it are really cool and it's really unique. Next up, you have a mana flask. So to craft that is magic crystal surrounded by a glass bottle. Now every magic mod has mana or it has something that represents mana. To use mana, basically if you hover over your wand, you will see that mana equals 700 and then there's like 700 out of 700. Basically every spell that you cast has a mana cost. So if you are nowhere near an arcane workbench, which is what you use to refill your mana for your wand, you can use a mana flask and it gets refilled right then and there. Moving on, there is also armor that you could wear. Now, you need magical silk to craft magical silk. You need four string with a magic crystal and you get two magical silk. And to craft this armor, it's basically like any other armor. You can craft it in a regular crafting table. Basically, you make a helmet as you would make a helmet a chest plate as you would make a chest plate and leggings and you guys get the point and I'm actually gonna wear the armor like so there we go I'm looking snazzy now the armor is actually pretty useful um I believe the if you guys can see it also has mana and I think it makes your effects stronger and such but basically there's different types of armor that you guys can get so there's fire armor ice armor which one is this again? Oh boy. Necromancy armor. Uh, I believe this is storm. Yep, storm. 
oh boy, earth? No, 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 no. This is sorcery, this is earth, and then that's lightning. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys an example. So, there's different types of magic in this. So if you're going more towards storm magic, your storm lightning cost will be reduced. So each armor basically reduces what nature you're kind of going into. I'll get more into that later on, guys, so don't worry. Next up, these are more like you don't need them, but they're just kind of there uh, in the mod. Basically, there is fire bombs, poison bombs, and smoke bombs. Now, fire bombs are crafted with a glass bottle, gunpowder, and two blaze powder. S poison bombs are crafted by two spider eyes, a glass bottle, and gunpowder. Smoke bombs are crafted by two coal, a glass bottle, and gunpowder. So I will test these out. In fact, uh, no, I'm not going to test them out on the creeper just because I think they'll actually break the set. Fire bombs looks like that. Basically, just like a little particle effect of fire. Poison bombs look like that. Little particle effects. And then smoke bombs look like that. And I believe with smoke bombs, they make the player have nausea and blindness and slowness if you throw this upon someone. Poison bombs make them poison and nausea. Fire bombs, I think, just set them on fire, which makes sense for what each more magical things and diving into uh, spell making and the importance of wands and such. So, in this chest, basically, uh, here are all the wand upgrades. We're actually not, I'm gonna skip that for now. This is the wands, and I'll I'll show you guys some of the spells. But basically, if you take your magic wand. You need a Tomb of Arcana, which is a book that is found in dungeons. Or, if you take uh, a look around your world, and if you see one of these towers. Basically, what these towers are, and you're going to want to use these towers a lot. Basically, what these towers are, is that it holds a wizard. Inside, you can trade the wizard to get a Tomb of Arcana. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, sorry. Or just different types of spells and equipment. Now, uh, you're going to want to find a lot of wizards because each of them have different tradable items. So if I spawn in a wizard here, see he has different spells he can trade with, different stuff. If I spawn in a wizard here, different spells. See he uh, gets storm mage leggings and all that. And that's actually how you get all these other armors. You have to trade it with wizards, or this basic armor you can easily just craft. So, you're going to want to find these, like I said, from the wizards, or from dungeons, uh, and I believe even mob drops, if you're lucky enough. So, if I grab my magic wand and the tomb of arcana, you're going to want to go over to your arcane workbench. Now, this is where all your spell making happens, all your ma magical wand upgrades happens, um, basically everything. Now, to make this, you're going to want two magic crystals, purple carpet, two gold nuggets, a lapis lazuli block, and chiseled stone. So, basically, this is what it looks like on the inside. You just pop your magical wand in there, and you guys can see the mana uh, hold is there. So basically, you're going to want to shift, right click, or just put in the bottom little like arrow pointing up slot. And you're going to want to click apply. And boom, you guys can see that it is now a apprentice wand. Before it was a normal wand, but now it's an apprentice. Now since it is an apprentice wand, the mana actually increased by 300 and it is now 1000 mana. So there we go. Now since we're here, I'm actually just going to show you how to... Uh, refill your mana. So to refill your mana, uh, do I have any on me? No. To refill your mana, you're going to want to take mana crystals, and I don't think they cost too much. You're going to want to put them in, in this slot right here, click apply, and it's back at uh, full, I guess, I, I keep on wanting to say HP, but uh, it's full mana, I guess. And that didn't even cost that much. It only costed three magic crystals. So refilling mana shouldn't be a problem. You just need a good supply of magical crystals. And it actually looks cool um, if you get out of the menu and just walk around. It kind of has like this cool little uh, levitating effect. Now moving on, there is the apprentice wand, which we took. And basically there is 
a advanced wand and a master wand. And I'm actually going to show you guys the different steps. So we're going to take our advanced upgrade and you guys can see they're all called Tomb of Arcana, but in the blue flaunt, <laughs> blue flaunt, in the blue font it says advanced. So if we apply this, you guys can tell the wand has changed and it increased by 500 mana. Now it is a advanced wand, which means it can hold advanced spells. Uh, I'll get more into that later. And now we're going to make it a master wand. And boom, it increased it by a thousand, which is absolutely crazy. So you guys now have 2,500 mana. And we're actually going to make this full. And that costed a little bit more magic crystals, but that's okay. Now the importance of upgrading your wand is because for spells, it only... Uh, for certain spells, you have to have higher up wands. So the regular wand is called a novice, so it can only hold novice wands. But if you want to use master spells, you have to upgrade your wand to a master. Now, that being said, there are also wand upgrades, which if you would like your wand to have more range attack, maybe you want to have, you know, more wand storage to store more of your spells, or just wand duration, make your spells last longer. All you could do is just throw the wand in there, throw it in the upgrade slot, and apply all your upgrades. And there you go. And it even shows you the applied upgrades that you have made onto your wand. So as you guys can see, this wand now has more wand storage, more wand range, and wand duration. So if you look before, it can now hold 2,875, whereas a regular master wand could only hold 2500 so we're going to refill that once more and it's cool because the magic crystals stay in the arcane workbench so that's pretty neat and that's pretty much the premise of it there are other wands that you can trade with the wizards if you guys uh i don't really uh, i don't know if any of those wizards have one but ooh, this is actually a good thing that spawned so pretty much if you guys can tell, this wizard is a sorcery wizard. Sorry, I just had to peek over at the armor over there. So this means that he has kind of sorcery spells. And if you guys look, there is a wand of mystery that goes with the sorcery armor and basically increases sorcery spells and such. So if you have a lightning armor set with a lightning staff or not staff, lightning wand, then your lightning spells will be increased. Uh, and I believe they all have different... Okay, no, they're all increased by 15. Okay. So now, moving on, we're going to get into spell making. And this is really uh, unique and, I guess, cool to see. So basically, with spells, there are scrolls and there are spell books. Now, I'm just going to make sure there's, there's no creepers around me. If I hop into uh game mode s you guys will look that the spells are all in gibberish the text you cannot read even the scrolls basically in order for you to read that if i take this spell book right here and hop in here there are scrolls of identification that you get by trading with the fellow wizards I don't think any of the wizards that I spawned in had one, but you basically get one by trading with them, or like I said, in dungeons. So if I right click this, you guys will see in the chat, discovered this spell, Summon Skeleton Legion. So now, if I hover over it, it tells me what spell it is. So if I actually read it, it says, Rise, Undead Army, and it tells me the mana cost, the element, and the tier. This is pretty important if because, let's just say if I were to pick I don't know, just any random spell, and it's an explosion spell. I don't want to use an explosion spell in my base. It's not really a good idea. So we're going to hop back into creative. Now, here, where's like a cool... All right, we're going to go with a thunderstorm spell. Now, just because you cannot read it... Uh, oh, wait, got to hop back into survival. Now, since I cannot read the spell book, doesn't mean you. I cannot use it. I can still use the spell but it's pretty risky um to do so basically to equip the spell onto the wand you're gonna want to throw it into this into the workbench like so click apply and you guys can see the name of the spells and what slot they're in 
at the wand. And what's cool about that is that you can actually reuse the spells and such. So I still have the spell books, so I'm going to throw them in there. And now that I have the spells onto my wand, since I didn't identify the one spell, it is all still in gibberish, but if I click it, you guys will see that I have learned the spell. And, well, this is Thunderstorm, so I guess you guys seen it. Thunderstorm struck. So I believe if I hold it, more will happen. Okay, no, it just happens that once. Now, to go through the spells that this wand has, because... Each uh, wand contains, uh, how much is that? Five spells. To see the rest of my spells, all I do is shift and scroll. And now we're on the summon legion spell. So if I just click that, we get some skeletons and they're all with me. And they do not attack me. Yeah, so they don't attack me. But if another creature attacked me, those guys would back me up. And I believe they don't last forever. But with my duration increase on this wand, they will last for a decent amount of time. Now another thing you guys may have seen in this is the Arcane Seal of Protection, which in upgrades any wizard armor to make it legendary. So if I right click, oh wait no, hold on. If I take my wizard's hat and throw that in there and pop in my Seal of Protection, it is now a legendary wizard's hat. So basically, it uh, protects me more, it holds more mana, and I believe I get to keep it if I die. Uh, I, I, I don't lose that. Now, those are the spellbooks. With spellbooks, you can reuse them, and you can attach them onto your wand so that they're always with you. But with scrolls, you can only use them once. So if I take my scroll and go into survival and use this scroll... It is gone. Uh, this is a lightning sigil, so I believe if anyone steps on that, they get struck by lightning. But as you guys can see, the scroll is no longer there. So scrolls are kind of... Um, basically, they're a one-time use. Uh, so they're not really too good if you have scrolls. But the scroll that I will be using is the scroll of transportation. Now earlier, I said that there is stones of transportation uh, that you guys can craft. Basically, what makes this cool is that if you craft eight stones and put them in a circle like so, if I stand in the middle and right click it, oh wait, you have to use it on a wand. There we go. My bad. See, I've already made mistakes. So uh, you have to take out your wand and right click the circle. Yeah. And if you look in chat, you will now be returned here upon casting transportation. So if I run all the way over here, cast my transportation scroll, I get a nausea effect, and I get teleported back in my safe little zone. So if you're off fighting an opponent and you're about to lose, you can run over to a tree and safely teleport your way back to safety. And that's pretty much it uh, for the mod showcase. I'm basically going to test out some of the other cool spells uh, in here, like Thunderstorm, Forest, Curse, Shockwave, Ice, uh, Meteor, Firestorm, Wall, Black Hole, all those. But I'm probably going to do that in part two of this. And I'm also probably going to test out more spells. Thank you guys all for watching. If you guys made it this far, comment down below what element you would be. I would probably be Storm. And yeah, make sure you guys go check out the mod in the description below. And peace.